Today, we're gonna take a short adventure on a small, well, it's actually not a small trail. I should say it's a small section of a much larger trail that is only about an hour away from my house. social distancing time I still wanted to get outdoors enjoy it a little bit when I can this trail is called the Lone Star hiking trail it's a almost 100 mile trail in East Texas and we're gonna do just a quick section it's a four mile section I'm gonna walk the four miles and then turn around and walk back to the car the reason I chose to go out in the rain was because I knew there probably wouldn't be very many people on the trail. So it's a good time to get out here and uh, you know get some miles in when there's nobody on the trail. You might also wonder why I'm carrying my gear. That's because when I came out here I wasn't sure if I was going to spend the night or not. I have to say so far I'm really enjoying this trail. I knew I would eventually want to come check it out and probably someday do the through hike but um, yeah, I've been kind of putting it off and I figured it was going to be, you know, very East Texas, which means brown and flat. It's definitely flat, um, but it's really green right now. It's actually really pretty. We just walked by Lake Conroe a few minutes ago. That was also pretty. As you can see, the blazes on the Lone Star hiking trail, um, uh, white piece of something that they affixed to the tree. So that's how you know. It seems to be really well marked so far. All right, so I did actually run into a couple people. It's the first people I've seen. Uh, done about three miles without seeing anybody. Uh, but they were kind enough to let me know that they saw a snake on the trail about a mile up here. So probably be gone by the time I get there. But uh, good to know, I'll keep my eye open. One thing to note, there is a, a newish trail um, called the Big Bend 100 that I believe would technically be longer than this trail um, in its entirety. Would like to get out and do the Big Bend 100 one of these days. Um, did the Outer Mountain Loop back in November. If you haven't watched that video, it's on my channel. Check it out. Beautiful place. Uh, definitely a bucket list type of hike. I know a lot of people choose to cache water on this trail. Um, I think some of the water that's filterable is pretty heavy in sediment, so uh, you know, you risk clogging up your filter. Um, but I also know that there are people that do it without caching water, so it is doable. Um, but it is really easy to cache water because there's basically trailheads that pretty much dot the whole thing. Uh, we started out today at Trailhead 6 and we are making our way to Stubblefield Trailhead. have a, 
a marker system that tells you important information when you're on the trail. I'm not sure what this means. I will look that up when I'm back home and I will put the information on the screen right now. So I just ran into a whole pack of wild boars, which scared the shit out of me. Because wild boars can be pretty nasty. Um, didn't get them on camera, but there was uh, five of them, and they were fairly large. So I'm gonna keep making noise <laughs> while I walk, because I do not want any part of that. Okay, so we're back right up on Lake Conroe again. Probably about a mile away from the car. Uh, the daylight is starting to disappear. I think it's gonna get dark in about an hour. But when we get back to the car, we will talk about the trail, my thoughts on this uh, section of it. And also we can talk a little bit about um, hiking and you know, whether it's okay to do this right now in the current uh, world that we're living in with social distancing. say I was pretty impressed. It was better than I thought it would be. I'd always kind of imagined that the Lone Star hiking trail would be something that I would do, you know, when I'm bored and, and I just uh, want something close. Um, but I gotta say, um, it definitely has some charm. The trail is very well maintained. Even the short stretch that I just did, did have some variety. The forest, you know, changed a couple times, and um, yeah, there was definitely some uh, some cool stuff. I'm looking forward to hiking the other sections, and hopefully one day I can uh, set aside some time to hike the whole thing. So I think a 20 mile per day pace would be good for me, and that would get me through in just four nights um, in five days. So yeah, A plus, uh, recommend the uh, people that maintain the trail. You're doing a great job, um, love it, I'll be back. So let's talk a little bit about hiking and whether or not it's appropriate right now. We're all trying to do what we can with social distancing to uh, slow the spread of the virus and, and make sure that hospitals don't get overwhelmed. On the surface, hiking can seem like a harmless activity during this period because you're out in the middle of nowhere and that's not really a place where you're gonna spread a virus. But unfortunately, with some of the bigger hikes and more popular hikes, through hikes such as the AT, you're going to pass through towns to resupply. There are plenty of uh, spots where hikers congregate, like hostels and shelters. And those are potentially ways that the virus could spread. And you could be spreading it to a small town that doesn't have the resources to deal with it. I don't really think this is much of a hot topic at this point. Seems like uh, most hikers have gotten off trail from these big trails. But what I'd like to talk about is uh, something like this. So this is a through hike. Uh, you could do it in four or five nights or more. Would it be appropriate to do that right now? Obviously, I'm not gonna do any hikes that involve stopping in towns for resupplies or uh, you know, being on trail with large numbers. So any of the big, big hikes are probably out. Secondly, I'm not going to hike anywhere that I have to travel far to. 
So this place is about an hour from my house. I think that's reasonable. I can jump in my car. I can go all the way to the trailhead. I don't have to stop. I don't have to make contact with anybody. I'm in my car the whole time. I get out, I hike the trail, I get back in my car and I drive home. And again, I never make contact with anybody. So I think that, yes, it would be okay to through hike this trail, assuming that you could get here via somebody who uh, you cohabitate with. There, you're not, you know, hopping in an Uber or something like that. And that they could pick you up at the end. Also, that you can do it quick enough that you're able to carry all your own food. Um, I would say more than five nights, that's a lot of food to carry. Uh, I personally would not want to carry six nights or more worth of food. So I say, if you can do it in under five nights, pack all your food in, um, cash water along the way. Yeah, I think it's uh, totally fine. It may be a little bit more crowded during the uh, nicer days and you may pass some people on the trail, but I think as long as you, uh, you know, respect their space. I had four people total pass me um, today, uh, one couple and then another couple. Both times I got off the trail a little bit and let them pass, said hello, stayed six feet away. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The problem is a lot of the, a lot of trails, a lot of day trails specifically are very crowded right now. You not only have people like me who would normally go to these kinds of places, but then you have a lot of people that are kind of just getting outside because it's the only thing that they think that they can do. Um, and that's potentially kind of problematic because the trails get really, really crowded, which could mean, um, you know, damage the trails, trash on the trails. Obviously, uh, a lot of the working crews are not active right now. I know that the people who maintain the Lone Star hiking trail, as of yesterday, are no longer doing maintenance uh, for the foreseeable future, or at least the month of April. So that's one thing to uh, consider. You know, obviously this, this one's still open. Uh, I wouldn't go anywhere that's closed. That's kind of a no-brainer. Also, I wouldn't really suggest uh, hiking with people who you don't live with. Um, I mean, that's just the world we're living in right now, and unfortunately, that's what you gotta do. I'm in the uh, new Subaru that we got, so I was interested in maybe trying out some, um, some, some trails with the car. But I really, really wanted to hike at least eight miles, so that was my priority, and that's what we did. So maybe next time we'll take the uh, Subaru out for a uh, spin in the woods. Anyways, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching this channel. Poker content, not really something that can be uh, produced right now in a live setting. But I think I'll be back out here, and I think we'll be doing uh, more sections of this trail. And I think also we'll be doing some a uh, little bit of off-roading in the Subaru. So if you're interested in that, Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you soon.